ready. What up? Let's get to it. So we know what it is, man. Big game coming up versus the Chiefs. Enormous game for the Vikings, man. Bottom line, you can talk about must wins. Is it a must win? You know, you could say so. What sense does it make to win a game, lose a game, right? Win a game, lose a game. That won't help the Vikings at all, baby. No, that won't get them nowhere, not even the playoffs. The Vikings need to get on a win streak quickly and swiftly. If they have hopes of making the playoffs, you know, or even competing, having a chance to be a playoff team, right? If that's what they want, huh, I would assume so, correct? Heavy. And once again, that whole tank BS, I don't rock with it. I don't like it, man. Have some self-respect, and I'm sure the Vikings have respect for themselves. Kill the outside noise, right? It's about them, their brotherhood, their relationship, their want, their determination to perform well and compete, man. And look like a football team. This is the perfect opportunity. And at the end of the day, people want to talk about what it will come down to, all the factors, defense, <laughs> offense, trenches, etc., etc. We know it's numerous things that will play a factor. Everybody has to perform well, right, at a high level. But at the end of the day, Kirk Cousins, it is on Kirk Cousins. And not only that, Kirk Cousins can finally prove the doubters wrong uh, for at least a week, <laughs> right? For at least a week or two for the moment. But at the end of the day, yeah, man, it comes down to can Kirk Cousins get it done? And what a perfect opportunity, right? Let's just look at last week. Kirk didn't play a great game, baby. That turnover on the goal line took points off the board. Bad throw, slow throw, indecisive throw, decision by Kirk Cousins. And we've seen that a couple times this season. Can't have it, because guess what? You take your ass and throw an interception, Kirk, against the Chiefs, get down 10 early, different ball game. Might not even, might not even be no coming back, baby. So Kirk need to zone in. Everybody want to talk about stats. Well, Kirk has turnovers as well, right? He's made some bad decisions, period. <laughs> He's taken points off the board. No debating bottom line. Now, the other interception, you can argue, debate, put it on the lineman, put it on Ed Ingram facts. But at the end of the day, Kirk needs to be more aware in that pocket of which side the pressure is coming from. He has to get better, man. Period. He has to improve. Especially you talk about playoff time, et cetera, et cetera. If Kirk is who he is or who some people, some fans think he is, this great quarterback, with great stats, which if you're not winning, at the end of the day, they mean nothing, bottom line, hands down, man down. But at the end of the day, it is on Kirk to prove himself, to prove he is more than just a stats quarterback. Oh, the numbers look good. The numbers look spectacular. But where are the wins? Where are the big game wins, baby? Another opportunity for Kirk Cousins. Step up to the plate and win, Kirk. I don't want to hear about all the other matchups. We know, we know. Everyone has to play well, like I said previously. But it's time for Kirk to shine, baby. Not a prime time of game, technically, but really it is. It's a big game versus one of the best teams in the NFL, if not the best team in the NFL. They have the best quarterback in the NFL, baby. All around good team. Matter of fact, great team, Super Bowl winning team. Do you dig me? Do you get my drift? So of course it's not all on Kirk, but will Kirk prove a point? Can he put the team on his back for once? Even if the game is not perfect, if he's getting hit in the mouth, if they're down, can Kirk lead a comeback? Can he win the big game under the big lights against the best quarterback in the NFL? The question is, what will Kirk do? Period, man. His big moment, another moment. Will Kirk prove the world wrong, the NFL wrong? Will he come out and ball? 
Yeah, put up good numbers, but when the game is over, when the last whistle is blown, will the Vikings have a victory, a dub, baby? Can Kirk not get rattled? Can he not fold under pressure? Can he make good decisions the whole game? Like I say, the Panthers game, horrible turnover. Horrible decision by your captain, your leader, etc., etc. So can Kirk, will Kirk step up to the challenge? Because that's what it's about right now. Season's still on the line. The Vikings got a long way to go. They've done nothing yet. They beat the Panthers, and that's it. You cannot get carried away. They have a tough task at hand, baby. Period. A tough task at hand. <laughs> and it's really more than a football game at that, especially with Taylor Swift involved, right? Oh, yeah. People are so in, enthralled with the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey situation, man, it's getting damn near ridiculous. The fake Hollywood Chiefs, you understand? Oh, we know they've already, already crowned them. Oh, they gave this a dub a long time ago. Most probably think it'll be a blowout. The Chiefs will win by two touchdowns at least. Oh, yeah. Not many have faith in the Vikings or believe they got a chance of winning, baby. But I hope the Vikings do. I hope they are prepared. Ready for the battle? That's all that matters at the end of the day. Period, bottom line. But and you got to wonder, question, is that even a real relationship, baby? <laughs> or is it staged, right? Is it all played out, right? All of a sudden, Taylor Swift loves football. She's at every game. Come on, man. At the end of the day, it's still entertainment, right? So you got a lot of questions about that whole Taylor Swift situation even. And how many guys has she been with in the entertainment room? <laughs> Talk about that other time, huh? <laughs> but these so-called Hollywood chiefs coming into town already think they got a victory. I'm sure that's their mentality. I'm sure they're sleeping on the Vikings or they ain't worried about them. That's just what it is. Right? The Vikings have earned the right to get slept on, though. Bottom line, period. But Kirk Cousins, $40 million man, will he ever win the big game? Can he lead the Vikings to the Super Bowl? Once again, I stand on him. I don't think so. Like I always say, that fourth and eight was enough for me. But at the end of the day, he's a Viking. Of course, I want to see Kirk Cousins win. I would love to see him ball out, beat the Chiefs. I would love to see him lead the Vikings to a Super Bowl. Like I said before, I might shed a tear. <laughs> I'm rooting for Kirk. I'm not rooting against Kirk. Ain't no Kirk hate. I'm talking facts, man. Every time. <laughs> I would love to see Kirk do good. Why not? I don't want to see him do bad. I don't want to see him fail. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go hard because I know the performance, the way they've been performing. Oh, they're a much better team. And I hope, oh, man, I hope they prove it this Sunday versus them fake Hollywood Chiefs. But Kirk might have to put the team on his back for a few drives. He might have to do something spectacular. He just might have to wiggle his way out the pocket by himself some more time. You know, depending on the how the O-line plays. But Kirk is gonna have to do some unkirk things. Maybe something he's not used to doing. But if he wants to be great, earn his payday finally, get over that hump as far as winning a big game, and you win, you can't go crazy. It's still just a regular season. They got a long way to go. But the confidence, the team morale, Kirk's confidence, right? His boost that he needs, it will be very beneficial to him at this point in the season, proving he can go compete with the best team in the NFL, beat the best team in the NFL, some may say. Beat the best quarterback, outplay the best quarterback in the league, baby. Or oh, that would be a big, gigantic confidence booster for Kirk Cousins and the whole Vikings squad, period. Team, morale, overall. But it's up to Kirk. I hope Kirk doesn't revert back and go into his shell, get all rattled if something gets tough. <laughs> Throw dumb interceptions. Once again, we saw what Kirk does. 
eyes on one receiver. He does that a lot. Now it's catching up. So will Kirk address his problems, right? Yeah, well, he address the problems he has right now. Fix them, repair them, and be ready, zoned in, and truly be a captain for his team. Sunday versus them Chiefs. Because for the Vikings, guess what? Every game, man, is a must win if you're talking real deal. Facts. Especially if you're speaking on them making the playoffs. Every game is a must win, baby. Starting with the Chiefs, it's time for them to go on a roll. Go on a win streak. Period. Oh, yeah, yeah, the schedule's tough, et cetera, et cetera. Well, prove it. Playoffs is going to be tough games every week depending on how far you get. So prove it now, Vikings. Prove who they are, and it starts with Kirk Cousins, period. Will he complete that big throw, make that big play? <laughs> no matter what quarter it may be in, <laughs> can he lead the Vikings offense to points, right? Not get stagnant, not be three and out, three and out, not lock in on one receiver. Can Kirk make a huge, colossal play, man, potentially to win the game? which it might come down to at the end of the day. So these are all questions you must ask, but this is a great time for Kirk to take full advantage of his opportunity. Forget everything else, Kirk. It's time for you to zone in, bro. Heavy, big dog. What type of quarterback are you? I've even said it your whole career, even with high school and up. You've been a quitter, not a winner. I don't care what nobody say. There's no disrespect. We talking facts, truth, and I want to see them boys win, Kirk included, baby. I think they have the talent, you know? <laughs> if certain players can stay healthy, the roster, they should be competing, which they have been competing, no doubt, but they've been losing, beating themselves. And Kirk cannot be excluded from that scenario. <laughs> no, he must take blame just like everyone else takes blame. Take it on a chin. Keep trucking, baby. But I am very interested to see how Kirk handles the pressure, the situation, the spotlight. Heavy. Let me know how you feel about it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and roll. Big skull here, man. Oh, yeah, the time is now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> skull Vikes. Forever.